Hi, welcome back. Um, a few videos ago, I showed you the um, how to deal with the contrast in Lightroom. Now, what we're looking at here is Photoshop CS3, and I'm going to show you how to do deal with your contrast in Photoshop, because I did mention it briefly, that you could do it in Photoshop. So I thought I'd better show you how to do it. Now, this technique I'm going to show you now, I don't, to be honest, I don't really use it a lot, so I'd rather use curves. But it's, it's a quick and easy way of dealing with your contrast, etc. Now, looking at this picture here um, on the screen, it looks good because I took it. <laughs> but we can improve on this picture quite dramatically, actually. But, but all I'm going to look at now is the contrast of it, in the, just to give it a bit more punch. So let's get started. I'm going to come up here to Layer. No, I'm not. I'm going to go to Image. And in here, it's Adjustments and... Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? That's my children you can hear in the background because you know I live in a very noisy house. Anyway, here we are. Brightness and contrast. Now, as I'm doing this, you're probably thinking, no, don't use that. It's a nightmare. Well, actually, in CS3, this is actually very good. In the older versions, I'm sorry to say, it's not very good and I wouldn't recommend using it. But CS3, go for it. So here, we, let's have a look. I'll keep moving this around, which means later I'm going to have to move around my zoom. And so let me give, start punching up the contrast. There you go. Wow, plus 55. Daring. And I'm going to take the brightness down just a tab. So about there. Now, to me, by eye, that looks great. I'm looking over right there at the um, histogram, which another video I'll cover how to deal with your histogram. If I turn on and off the preview now, so I'm hoping that I remember to zoom the video in so you can see the difference. So preview off. There's the original. Preview on, off, on, and that's great. It's got a lot more punch. This little tick box here, use legacy. If you press that, that will revert to the old Photoshop version of brightest uh, contra contrast. And so we don't want to tick that. We don't want to be doing that because the old one was crap, basically. But the new one, go for it. Anyway, so there you go. Now, that is really easy. In Lightroom, it was easy. As you can see, in Photoshop, I just OK that. Now, in Photoshop, it's just as easy. In fact, in Photoshop, you can probably tweak it a little bit better. Now, I can go on to other things here now to show you how I can boost this picture even more. But really, that's for another video. Um, yeah, so that's great. So there you go. Great contrast. I'm hoping now that I'm zooming the... Uh, the video in for you so you can have a good look at the uh, detail of the image and um, yeah have fun with that one anyway see you later